this video is going to be showing you how to set up your green tree frog enclosure. Um, so all down there we've got some supplies. I probably won't use it all. And uh, this is a 20 gallon tall tank. So first let's get your substrate. Substrate we're using Zilla Jungle Mix. I'm going to pour in about a good two to three inches of substrate. Hopefully I don't get this everywhere. Alright, uh, let's open the hole up a little bit. That is what he said. And maybe that should be good. Spread it around a bit. See how that looks. Uh, we could probably do a little more. Geez, that was like half the bag just for one enclosure. Um, even it out as much as you can. And then I will go get the water bowl. Oops, excuse me, tripod. Water bowl, just a regular dog bowl, nothing special. And then you get your some tap water. I use uh, tap water and then I let it sit for a day or two. All right, we'll put like a drop or two of Reptisafe in there. Uh, it looks like it crusted over, so, hmm. That should be fine. Um, you probably won't need reptile hides, but it's good to include it anyway. This is just a regular old log hide. We'll put it in the back. There we go. A couple of rocks. Just because um, they are arboreal, so get some branches in there. There we go. And whoa, I think I just broke my vine. Yep, I broke my vine. That sucks. Oh well, there's only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree vines, looking pretty. Nazzy in there. Got some more vines here. And uh, I like to actually put a little bit of uh, leaves and stuff inside the water bowl just so crickets can climb up and out of that. But, um, yeah. It's looking alright. It's got an uh, extra stuff that I may or may not use. Extra rocks, let's put that in there. And then uh, we get our green tree frogs. I got three of them. Even found a cricket on my floor. Oh well. But we got three nice big green tree frogs. So I'm going to do this one by one into their new enclosure. Yeah, there we go. Uh oh. I think we're going to have a little escape artist. Got two more. Here we are, buddies. Good to go. In you go. Get your lid on there. Bam, you're ready to roll. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up a green tree frog enclosure. Um, lighting is optional. If you're going to do lighting, keep it very minimal, very low wattage. Um, I'll probably turn this on for viewing pleasure. Come on. There we go. All right, all right. 
Now I want to get you guys nice and close to the action. Show you this nice new setup. I'm, I'm liking it. I like how it looks. I do miss green tree frogs. They are a very fun animal to own. So, uh, join me in a sec. We'll get you guys nice and close. Alright, so here's one. Swing on over, 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 over here. <laughs> and here's another. Not entirely sure where the third one went. Oh, there it is, right there. They're checking out their new enclosure. Got some jungle mix on the bottom, just a regular old water bowl. But uh, beautiful little frogs there, nice and green. All right, I'll probably go run to Kmart or something real quick and pick up a very low wattage bulb. But um, I'll give these guys a quick little mist here with my handy dandy misty mate. So um, I hope this is showing up on camera all right. Yeah, it's going to focus on the grate there. But, um, we'll come back in a sec once I've misted it down. Alright, so I gave everything a thorough misting. You might be able to see, uh, just barely see some, uh, water on there. Looks like that little guy was, uh, on the substrate. There's that little buddy. Not sure where the third one is. Probably, maybe in the log. But um, I also put the shrubbery and stuff in there just to make it seem like it's kind of like a jungly rainforest. But I do like the color of that. <clears throat> uh, the water bowl, it kind of blends in. Looks a little more natural than, you know, Mr. Ben's hide or water bowl down there, a little red one. So. Always something cool going on in uh, Gecko's cages here. And look, we got a cute little fat tails right there. Probably curious on what's going on. And got a little leopard gecko tail down there. All right, so um, stay tuned for an updated care video. I know the previous one did very well, over 30,000 views, I'm surprised. Um, looking to update my information. So comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again.